expected. Mayfield told Fox Sports that he suffered a fracture in his upper left shoulder. That's his non-throwing shoulder. Tim, I'll start with you. How far can the Browns go? Well, I think without Baker, I think they can still make the playoffs. I think with Baker, I think you have a recipe if everything comes together. And I mean everything, meaning Baker and Odell, this defense. I still think they have a shot to, to be a Super Bowl contender, make it to there. I, I think they have the recipe, right? They're different than every other team. Because they'll play in 13 personnel, they have three really good tight ends. They have explosive playmakers on the outside. Now, they haven't always connected this season, but they have that ability. Then on defense, they can get to the quarterback. And when you have that recipe, you can beat every team. The same recipe they had last year, except they have more pieces to that puzzle now. And so when you look at them, they haven't been perfectly in sync all year, but they have the recipe to be successful, to be able to beat teams like the Chargers, like the Chiefs, like the Bills. They have that recipe if it all comes together. So I still like this Cleveland Browns team. Well, you go ahead and like them, Tim Tebow. You go ahead, right ahead and like them. I mean, to me personally, guess what they're going to do? How far can they go exactly where they, where they were going? You understand? They, could, they, go, they have a chance to make the playoffs, and they're going to go home. It's really, really that simple, okay? Whether it's Case Keenum or Baker Mayfield, because no matter who they have at the quarterback position, it ain't that dude. You got Chubb. You got Kareem Hunt. Hopefully, they'll get back healthy. Odell Beckham Jr., listen, I was here on the air just a few days ago talking about, look, man, you get this guy in the right situation. We know what Odell brings to the table. You could be – I mean, you, you could go to the Super Bowl. I mean, if he landed in Green Bay, for example – I have to confess, a lot was made of his relationship with Baker Mayfield. Well, Baker Mayfield wasn't on the field last night. That was Odell Beckham Jr., two receptions for 23 yards. He doesn't look like himself. I don't know what's going on with him. I don't know whether it's his, he's disinterested, he's not healthy, uh, uh, he's lost a step, whatever. He did not look good last night at all. And he hasn't looked good this season, and we thought it was because of Baker Mayfield. Well, he didn't have Baker Mayfield as an excuse last night. So that's something Odell Beckham Jr. is going to have to answer for. In the end, I look at the Browns, and I look at the Browns that, as a team that a lot of people hyped up. Are they a good team, Tim Tebow? Yes. They're not great. They got great running backs, but they're not great. And as a result, because of the conference they're playing in, with at least three teams who are great, and, you know, uh, 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 listen, we look at the Chiefs. We ain't sleeping on them, even though they're 3-3. Three and three. Uh, now, you got Buffalo. You got the Baltimore Ravens. Look, man, I'm just looking at them right Bengals. now. Yep. Cleveland's not a part and, of the mix to me. They're just not. Yeah, and, and, and you have the Chargers. I, I get that. But look at the way they played the Chiefs. Look at the way they played the Chargers. This team, they have the recipe to be successful. I also like it because they're different. When a team is preparing for the Browns, it's totally different than the Bills, than the Chiefs, than the Chargers. And I think that is a strength for this team. Is you, have to, you know you have to show up and you have to put on your big boy <laughs> pants. You have to play 13 personnel. You have to stop three tight ends. It is a physical game. Like, they didn't have their playmakers being um, playmaker-ish last night, and they still dominated the game because of this running game, because they right. can get to the quarterback, and that that is very scary if you have to what? play this team. Now, what happens, Stephen A., if all of a sudden you see Odell start to take it to the next level? What happens if Baker plays a little bit more consistent? What happens if you, you have Jar Jarvis and Odell? Yeah, but, but you're not saying the ifs on the other team. There's a lot of ifs on Kansas City right now. There's even ifs in Buffalo. There's ifs in Tennessee. There's ifs in Baltimore, right? There's ifs on all those teams. And so I, what, what I try to do is step back and look at it and say, if they can get hot at the right time, who could this team be, right? Because it doesn't matter week seven, week eight. That's right now when we hype it up because that's what the media does. It's what can they be if they mm -hmm. can come together uh, as a team in week 17, 18, in January uh, and February. That's the difference. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Let me tell you something, Tim Tebow. I'm glad you said that because, you know, you said the media, A, like you ain't a part of it. Yes, you are. That's number one. And number two, <laughs> Tim Tebow, you also said it like we hype up other people. I recall somebody on the air named Tim Tebow with me a few Fridays ago hyping up the Florida Gators. You ain't hyping them up now, though, but you hey, were hyping them up a few hey, weeks Steve, ago. Hey, I mean, you just seen it going. Doing. Hey, listen. <laughs> we, you you need to – Hey, the difference is we put things in context. And in that argument, it was in context of Florida versus Alabama in the swamp. And by the way, your boy was right, all right? So you just need oh, to calm down about that. You was going the next week we, about Ole Miss? We, hey, we didn't – no, yeah, but we didn't, we didn't put a bet on that. And we didn't right, put right, a bet right. on last week, right, Florida yeah, versus yeah, LSU. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, you, you didn't bring that up, okay? Yeah, yeah. I hey, listen, put it in context, man. You hey, anything out of 
context is wrong, all right? You got to okay. put things in context. Okay. You know what I'm saying? All right. I feel you on that. All right, we'll go with that. All I'm saying is this, though. Listen, ain't nothing to brag about being that. a giant in a small man's contest. Denver was overrated. They were 3-0. and Everybody was getting hyped about them. And they've come crashing down to earth. And we've realized what they're not. That's who Cleveland beat last night. So let's put it in perspective. All right, well, their next four, they have the Steelers, Bengals, Patriots, and Lions. So they are all winnable. Yeah, they all are. Winnable, they're, they're not easy, um, but That's except fair. for the Lions. That's Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.